How do we know the ages of Egyptian mummies, when the Maya civilization fell, or when Stonehenge was built? The answer lies in carbon-14 dating, a method developed by physical chemist Willard Libby in the mid-1940s. Carbon-14, an unstable form of carbon, had been discovered by Martin Kamen and Sam Rubin a few years before. Libby built on this by proving it's naturally present in the atmosphere. When carbon combines with oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide, or CO2, which plants absorb through photosynthesis and animals and humans take in through food. All living organisms continually renew their carbon-14 reserves, but when they die, the carbon-14 begins to decline at a steady pace, like a countdown clock. Libby realised that he could determine the time of death by measuring the carbon-14 left in remains up to roughly 50,000 years old. He thought human waste would have plenty of it, so ran an experiment with gas from sewage samples, and it worked. Then, the scientists tried it on ancient artefacts, and it matched the estimated ages for them, revolutionising archaeology. Libby received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in 1960, but it didn't end there. Carbon-14 dating has revealed details about ancient ecosystems, improving our understanding of how human activity is affecting the planet. This partly laid the scientific foundation that the IPCC and former US Vice President Al Gore used to raise awareness about climate change. Their work was recognised with the Nobel Peace Prize in 2007. Libby's method not only unlocked mysteries of the past, but also provided us a key to understanding the world we live in.